In the moment, it wasn't a mistake or something you regret doing. It was only when you looked back you wish you had done or thought differently. but it's never too late to change course or to be brand new. Take it from this girl. The moral of the lesson. Oh no, that's not right. <laughs> Sup fam. Hey guys, it's Mare. So in today's video, we are going to be discussing the mistakes I made in high school versus me now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to know when I put out a brand new video, make sure to turn my notifications on so you know when that video goes live. Mistake. Number one, in high school, I cared way too much about what other people thought of me. I let other people's opinions dictate my emotions and the choices that I made, and I let them influence how I felt about myself. Me now. I don't feel the need to do certain things just because everybody else is doing them. If you can hear that jackhammer, it's the, uh, construction. Just because they think something is cool doesn't mean you have to think it's cool. Your version of cool can be staying at home, baking, reading a book, meditating with your crystals, because that's what I do. <laughs> the people in my high school thought that bullying and being mean to other kids was cool. But you know what? Kindness is cool. Being passionate is cool. Having an opinion and standing up for what you believe in is cool. Don't feel bad about doing things differently than others. Don't be afraid to be the person that goes against the beaten path and does things unconventionally. Now I do things that I really want to do, things that I enjoy. I'm friends with people that have similar interests and mindsets as me. So lesson learned. Mistake number two. My eyebrows... Let's just say they weren't popping. Hey guys, so it was requested for me to do an updated what's in my purse video. It smells really good. Yeah, it smells good. Ooh. Oh, that smells really good. I didn't fill them in. I didn't know what I was doing. I just kind of let them hang there, let them fend for themselves. Now, my brows are strong. They are supported. I use my Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit to fill them in. I love this pencil because it has a very fine tip, so it helps create that hair-like stroke, and it's waterproof. I wanna see you moving slow. Then I go in with the Gimme Brow by Benefit and add a little oomph to them. So the Gimme Brow is a volumizing fiber gel, so it creates fuller looking brows. But hey, gonna... It makes it look like you have more hairs on your eyebrow, which, Bless, that's what I need. Mistake number three, under eye concealer. When I was in high school, I used to just wear under eye concealer with this brightening powder underneath, no foundation. And in flash photography and in person, let me just tell you, it was not pretty. Here's some footage and pictures. I've got the receipts. Let me uh, pull them out. I lay awake in the bed full of sorrow. Now, I bake my face with a translucent powder. Whoever started the baking of the face thing, thank you, I, I thank you. It is important to set your under eye concealer with a translucent powder. That way your concealer doesn't crease. I have a lot of wrinkles under my eyes for some reason. So if I don't set my under eye concealer with powder, let's just say it gets a little creasy, gets a little messy. Lesson learned the hard way. Mistake number four. I fried my hair in high school because I straightened it almost every single day. No breaks, no rest. I was just, I was just straightening it. I was killing it off. My, my baby, my baby. It's healthy now because I learned, I learned, I learned, I learned. It's important to give your hair breaks, to rejuvenate it. After picking at thousands of split ends in my hair, I finally decided, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna stop straightening my hair. I'm gonna give it a break. I started treating it with a little more care and tenderness, a little TLC. Now I take biotin capsules. So this promotes healthy skin, hair, and nails. I just take one of these a day. I do see a difference in the strength of my hair and my nails. So when I do use heat on my hair, it is gonna be a lot less prone to breakage. Don't fry your hair off. You you have all seen that video of that girl where she's curling her hair and she thinks, you know, everything is all good and dandy and then boop, 
just rips off. Let me know in the comments a mistake that you made and the lesson that you learned from it because at the end of the day nobody's perfect and mistakes are always a chance to learn and grow and take something positive out of that situation. Those are some of the mistakes I made in high school versus me now. The lesson was learned. It's all good. It's great. It's great. If you guys want more videos like this one, give it a thumbs up to let me know and comment below any other videos like this you want to see. I want to know. So let me know. Let me know. So I have a very exciting announcement. Ready? Are you guys ready? Are you ready? I'm having a meet and greet. A greet and meet. A meet and greet, a meet and greet. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm having a meet and greet in New York City on May 6th at the Sephora in Times Square from 2 to 4 p.m. with benefit. It is gonna be so much fun. If you live in the New York area or you can make it to the meet and greet, I would love to meet you and hug you and see your beautiful face in person and that would just make my day. So if you can come, I really wanna meet as many of you guys as possible. I'm so thrilled I am able to partner with Benefit and do this meet and greet. The wife is gonna be there, Tila's gonna be there so you can meet the wives together. I love you, Mary Bears. Remember, stay true, stay you, and stay positive. Bye, guys. I am so sorry for that construction. I am so sorry. Hello, it is Meredith. Hello, it is I. Hello, it is me. Hello, it is Mare. <laughs>